Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, man, look, man, we're going to have some people that's mad. We're going to have some people that's glad. We're going to have some people that's going to... Hey, look, man, I really don't care about nobody's feelings about this joint, man. It's something that needs to be addressed. The fades have been nerfed. Well... They kind of been nerfed, man, but we, we'll get into all that after this. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure you like the video, man, because we're bringing the 2K heat every day of the week. It keeps me hella motivated, and it just keeps me dropping videos for y'all because we're going to stream or drop videos or all that. If y'all want some 2K20 content, let me know. But other than that, let's get right into the video. There you go! Know. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. So right off the bat, man, look, man, I already know that people gonna be hella mad. They just gonna be like, look, bro, look, listen, listen. Regardless of what your opinion is on this whole thing, the fades need to be nerfed. There's no player in the history of the NBA not named J.R. Smith. That, <laughs> bro, you literally running this way. <laughs> Square up in the air and you're shooting the ball, bro. Come on, man. Whoever did that at a, at a high clip, bro? Nobody does that consistently. There's nobody. Like, to the. it's crazy, bro. People are out here fading to the point where a fading shot it's just as good as an open shot. And we got that information from my guy, NBA 2K Toots, man. He got the, he got it right here. He's showing you that the green window for the fading shots is damn near the same as a uh, as a as a standing shot, but the actual pure green window is bigger. Do y'all see this? Are y'all missing this, bro? Look at this right here, bro. Look, 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 look. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody look at this. Hey, look, stand still. Green window just after the three point line. Right on the three point line is 680, right? 680 milliseconds. Look at this, look at this. Somebody look at this. The doggone, the fade, it stays the same. It's consistent. You got 680 milliseconds. Boom, look at that. And then 600 milliseconds right there. That's what the green window is, right? Now, obviously, it's going to move and stuff like that, but just look at this. Look at it as it moves. All right, stand still uh, with a deep three. It said, it said 680. And uh, you know what? Well, this, this, this is the location of it. It ain't as wide as it is. So you see how wide it is versus how whatever. But the thing is, the location is the same. This is what's important to me. Y'all might be thinking that you know that that is that is bigger, wider, whatever. The fact that is that is there. I don't I don't care about that. This is what I care about. Right on standstill, just after the three point line is it's at six hundred milliseconds. On a deep three, it's six seventy milliseconds. It changes. For a fade, it's the same. Which means what? To me, it means it's 100% zenable. And I think a lot of people probably using the Zens on these joints, man. I'm not even going to cap to you. I think a lot of people, that's why they got so popular and people doing them so much. And that's why they'll go in and they go into big whites and stuff going in and all of that stuff. And that's why if you don't let people do fades, then it's like... Like, they, they just complete garbage. They can't even hit a standing. We done got to the point where we're saying, yo, that's a standing. He's going to miss that, right? Like, it's crazy. Because at different locations on the point, bro, you got bots coming out here trying to fade and stuff like that. Bro, come on, man. Let's be serious. Let's be for real. So the point that I'm trying to make is it's way too easy. And NBA 2K2 has shown you why it's so easy. Because right on the three-point line is 680. And when you get uh, and you have, if you're taking a deep three, it's 680. It doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're taking a fade. The actual green window is in the same spot. It's it's not the same size, but it's in the same spot. That's what's more important. That's why people can't shoot from different locations on the court because they they can only shoot right side or left side. It's a different time for the left side. It's a different time for the right side. It's a different time for the top of the key. It's a different time for for you know the hella depot threes. So a lot of people can't shoot from different spots as efficiently as I can. I can shoot from anywhere on the court because that's just what I do. I'm a shooter, shooter, and I'm a shooter. So I, I get that part, but I think that's the biggest part is that is that the green window, the center of the green window, is at the same spot every time, 680 milliseconds, and uh, it's probably 80 milliseconds wide or something like that. Who knows how wide the actual green window is? But 
that's important to me because that it's way easier to find the same timing over and over and over if it doesn't move no matter what than it is to, to sit there and try to look at it and see you know what it is so it's just a little bit longer than than the average shot but if you're taking deep threes then it's the same as the average shot the whole point of what i'm saying is is this they got to do something about it man and uh a lot of the community had already said they got to do something about it and all this stuff and uh this is what we come up with today special delivery bags has been nerfed i spit it out special delivery i want that and uh checking it out the special delivery bags having been nerfed trays up splash down it's been nerfed and now uh, he said this is proof right here and you're gonna see the guy uh, he's going, he shot the ball, he did a fade, look at that, big fade, and then you see it only goes up, uh, you know, about about uh, three quarters of the way right there, bro. So uh, that used to give you team take, special delivery, Hall of Fame, special delivery, all that stuff used to give you team take, you used to get team take in one shot, whether you hit it cleanly or not, when I'm saying hit it cleanly, I'm saying whether you hit a green or not, you were getting team take or what have you and it really takes a whole lot of the skill out of the game and a lot of people will be saying in the comments saying that they be so far inside they feelings that they can't even see out of their own feelings they be like ah, ah, people hit face in real life okay i mean that's cool and then the other thing is they say uh youtubers always want people to to stop i mean to do something about uh patch what they can't stop it's not about what you can't stop it literally cannot be stopped if a player is is the least bit competent he can sprint to the right, sprint to the left, size up this way, go that way, and then sprint and fade. When they shoot the fade, they can go to the wing, and if they're good, it's like you got to send two people at them so now they get a free-ass layup. If they do take the shot, two people still have to go at them if they're a good player, so now you got to go down there, and the center's going to get the free rebound. And with the offensive rebounds in this game, it's already broke as hell. Y'all already know it goes to them. And if you do run two people at them, then they can pause for a second on the wing and then sprint to the corner and fade. It's literally nothing you can do about it if a person is actually competent. If you're a bot fading, I mean, anybody can deal with these bots fading. You press them coming up the court, try to run the energy down, and then when they finally take the shot they probably won't be able to do a whole lot but if they got handles for days then you might be in some trouble bro i just don't get it why people thought that that was a good idea and my boy swante agrees with me because he said take over last but he said take over last the whole game you get it in one shot and there's no real defense to stop anything consistently um it's just chance uh fix the game please mike and then you know he also said something like that like he said something yesterday like i don't know whose idea it was to give people a team taking one shot but it's just insane just think about that you got a guy that's not good at the game at all it's a complete bot and because he hit one shot by luck that i probably contested 45 percent and it just happened to go in because phase go in at a higher rate than any other shot and it, you know what i'm saying now i gotta deal with him for four more possessions Four more possessions or whatever. We just can't stop him. Now we got to dedicate the whole team to him to get these stops. And we win in a lot of these park games. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like when people can't fade. Like, look at this. This is this this, this is the guy that you would be going against normally, right? And now it's like you, it's nothing that you can really do do about it, Big Greens. Because the game is just it's just not balanced, man. And then also he said, uh, he just said, buddy, what's wrong with you? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with you. But fading and dunking is OP. You need to nerf both immediately. Are you going to fix it? Uh, fix it or not? Let us know. Fading has always been the biggest exploit, and it ruins the fun. Uh, dunks is OD. It's OD bailouts when playing a uh, good defense, uh, balance your game. And I'm not gonna lie to you, we do need a balance. I don't know so much about dunking, bro, because when most of the community didn't put interior defense on that guy, you really can't get mad at getting dunked on. And you ain't got no interior defense and no strength. This guy right here that I got is a 6'6 guard with, um, I got gold blind, I got gold intimidator. I've got 70 strength and six, uh, 60 strength and 70 interior. I really don't be getting dunked on like that. And even if I do get dunked on like that, a lot of times people just smoke the dunk or, you know, whatever. Or they just got by me. Sometimes, like, I think what we just gonna have to realize is YouTubes and stuff like this. Sometimes the person just gets you, bro. Like, they just hit you with a good ass move and they just got you. Like, I don't know. I've never been one of those people that feel like you should be able to stop somebody 100% of the time and all this stuff. I feel like. The game of basketball is, I'm trying to, it's like a sparring match. I'm trying to do this, you trying to do this, I tried this, you tried this. Okay, now I got your last move. Okay, I got him now. The next time he tries this and this, I've seen all your moves, I've seen your whole array of moves. So the next time you try, I'm gonna get you. And then 
you get a key stop at the end of the game and then it's like this is like what i was playing uh we was playing wreck the other day and i was like yo check it out dude hit me with a move he hit me with a move and we sparring back and forth and he hit me with something i never seen before i was like okay now i got this whole array of moves i'm gonna play him just like this and then uh, the game was tired i think we was down one and i was like i'm gonna get a stop boom got a steal went down court and did like you're not supposed to be able to stop the person every single time that's why i don't really get too mad but at the same time if you're playing bad defense you will now i do understand when you're playing against a really good player you can't get stops consistently but are you supposed to get stops consistently against really good players i don't think so i don't i'm not one of those people that believe in the panacea of make a lockdown and you're just gonna automatically get stops just because you're a lockdown i, I never believe i ain't saying that's what swante saying i know it's not what he's saying he's just saying you can't that bots can score on you and they don't have no type of offensive plan but y'all let me know what y'all think man does defense really really need to be adjust it that much or do we just need to get these phase up out of here and then after that i think we good i don't know this is a this this is really good uh as far as this hot fix it, it, it stops is yeah people still gonna be fading and so nothing has been touched with the phase but at least you're not getting team takeover with one fade now you hit one lucky shot now you got team takeover and now we got to deal with your whole team but we really got to deal with you fading for the next 18 positions and stuff like that so that's a step in the right direction. They're showing us that they're trying to do something, but we still need more, and we really need these fades to be toned down, especially from three, bro. You can fade all day long from two, uh, but from three, we got to do something about it, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, we'll be streaming tonight. I got to run to the mall and stuff, but I'm going to let y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.